Hey everyone, welcome back to the NASCAR 2001 PS2 Let's Play Lation. I'm about to do race 7 of 20. Next race, I'm going to California Speedway, 2 mile racetrack. And I believe it's 25 laps in this race, if I can remember. So, uh, anyways, let's check out the point settings. Look at this points lead I have, guys. 120 point lead over Bobby Labonte. That's insane. I have the most top 5s and top 10s as well. But, man, it's just amazing how my season's going. So let's get right to the racetrack. Get ready to go here at California Speedway. Kenny Schrader's got the pole so far. Can I get the pole? We'll see. About to go to qualifying. See you I'll start. Off turn number four. Going to complete qualifying here at California Speedway. I messed up through one and two. I don't know if this is going to be a good lap. And, uh, wow, seventh? Okay, I'm kind of surprised with seventh because I messed up one and two so bad. I wonder if I didn't mess up one and two, I would have done way better than that. Uh, so, yeah, Kenny Shrey will get the pole. I'll qualify seven. That's okay. And uh, let's get the Napa Auto Parts 500 underway. Thanks for joining us in beautiful Southern California for the Napa Auto Parts 500. Napa Auto Parts 500 at California Speedway, Fontana, California. Two mile racetrack, 25 laps. Looking good so far is Dale Earnhardt Jr. He made up some ground in the points race after last week's event. Tony Stewart has finished in the top 10 five times in a row. Okay, good. Kenny Schrader and Jeff Gordon wrote one. Uh, Rusty Wallace, Bobby Labonte wrote two. Dale Nard Jr., Jeremy Mayfield wrote three. Row four, me and Mark Martin. Row five, Kevin LePage, Ricky Rudd. Row six, Dale Earnhardt and John Andretti. Row seven, we have Joe Nemechek, Terry Labonte. Row eight is Mike Skinner and Dale Jarrett. Row number one, nine is Kyle Petty and Wally Dahlenbach. And in row number 10 is Tony Stewart and Matt Kenseth. Here we go for the Napa Auto Parts 500. The great flies in the air. We're underway here at California Speedway. Alright, we're going to complete the first lap. I basically got shoved up the racetrack. I'm going to drop back to 10. Oh, my Skinner! Whoa! He came up. That was not my fault. He came up into me, it looked like. And now we're racing back to the caution because we already crossed another lap. And I'm going to be way in the back. Um, Man, I didn't see who else got involved in that. It might have been... Uh, Dale Jarrett, Kyle Pay, or Jeremy Mayfield. I couldn't tell. It wasn't Kyle Petty. But we're racing back to the caution. Anybody behind me? Alright. Well, that sucked. Uh, I think Mike Skinner came up into me. I don't think I came up. I came down into him. Alright. So we're under caution. It's been a while since we've had a caution, it feels like. Uh, so. I don't know if anybody else is going to pit or not. We'll see. If they do, I'll pit with them. It looks like everybody else... Okay, so I made a good call to come down pit road under this caution. So, I'm not going to repair damage. I would like to loosen up this car, though. Maybe I could do one here. And uh, definitely get four tires. Full tank of fuel. And, um... Uh, see what else happens. Oh, right, getting held up here. Cool, Matt Kenseth. Eventually, we'll be at our pit box. There we go. Okay, four tires, full tank of fuel. Man, look at this crowd. Amazing crowd. Okay, there was no grass there in real life, I'll tell you that much. All right, looks like a slow pit stop we're about to have, too. So, I don't know where we're going to be after this. Oh, actually, I'm still behind Cal Pay. It looks like I made up one spot. Okay. We'll be back out in the way, and maybe we'll get the restart this time by. All right, I guess we're having the restart next time by, so we're going to have 20 laps to go when we go back green. And let's see if we can get some green flag racing, too. All right, here we go. Back to the restart. Going to restart 12. 20 laps to go. Green flag back in the air.
All right, John Andre making a move on me here. All right. Now we'll see how this car handles. Oh, Kyle Petty having some trouble. Okay, we're fine. Got back around John Andretti. See if I got some. I got some of Kyle Petty's draft. Not much of it, but I do have some. And, uh. Ooh, got through that corn good. Oh, a lot of smoke up there from a couple of cars. Couldn't tell who. Anyways, let's see what we can do um, before our next pit stop. About to get back into the top 10, get around Joe Nemechek and Kevin LePage for ninth. Yeah, I'm going to tell you right now the adjustments I made to loosen up this car is working out. Because, man, did this car suck. <laughs> In the first couple laps but making those adjustments really have helped so I'm up to night now but the top eight it's gonna take me a little while to catch up to them but I feel like I have the car to do it all right looks like some drivers are heading down pit road I'm not quite yet well I will next time by next lap I'm hitting I'm hitting pit road I might have to make two more pit stops after this race probably everybody else too so this should be interesting how this uh, strategy is gonna play out oh my god all right, in the long run, the, the car starts to get tighter, but it does feel better than what it was. But I am pitting this time by, get four fresh tires, full tank of fuel. Doesn't look like I'm gaining uh, any of that lead pack, though. But I'm going to come down pit road this time by. All right, whoa, I almost hit that inside wall. Let's do that. Oh, wow. <laughs> oh, well. Still let Mark Martin go, not bad. All right, uh, four tires, full tank of fuel. I'm gonna keep the adjustments. Oh, you know what, I wanna go one more. I'm like maybe another half on the, down on the wedge. See how that goes. If this doesn't work out, I'll go back to the uh, 1.0, but we'll see how this goes. Gotta try things. I mean, I got a big points lead coming into this race, so I really have nothing to lose right now, but I would like to keep that going. Alright, Senior's gone, Mark Martin's gone, wow. Damn, what a pit stop, Jesus! 21 second pit stop, really? Oh my god! That was a terrible pit stop! Oh, pit crew, you screwed me on this one. That was awful. Alright, well, we're back in the 10th spot, but that was... That was terrible. That was a terrible pit stop. Very slow. You gotta pick it up a little. The number 12 car has climbed into the top line. The next three cars. All right, well, I'm passing a couple more cars. I'm just past, uh... I know Jeff Gordon and Rusty Wallace, and they were actually, uh, I think, the lead cars. I think they, they did stay out in their extra lap, and I think that cost them big. So I'm up to seventh, which is better than I expected, but I could have probably been ahead of Dale Jarrett had it not been for that slow pit stop. Well, Jeff Gordon's about to get past me for seventh. Ten laps to go here at California Speedway. I'm going to tell you guys this. The car handles way better. Like, I... Oh, I... That was my bad. I got on the brakes late there. But the car handles better for the most part. The problem I have with this car, no speed. I mean, the only reason why I was able to make passes early on is because I was in the draft. When I'm in the draft with somebody, I feel I got something. But when I don't have draft, this car has no speed. Like, if I stay with Rusty Wallace right here, I'll be able to keep up with him and... Well, Ashley's pulling away from me. Uh, yeah, I, overall, I just got no speed, guys. Nine laps to go. All right, well, cars are coming down. Pivot. Jeremy Mayfield is as well. Uh, looks like Ken Schrader is as well. So I think I'm going to pit next time by. My tires are definitely worn. Guys, I might have to pit one more time before this race ends. Because I don't think I'm going to make it on fuel to the end. But if I do come down pit road... I am, uh, for my final pit stop, not this one, but my next one, I am just going to take fuel only and just maybe a splash. 
no tires at all. But we'll see how this goes, you know. Um, definitely not going to make it on fuel. But I'm going to come down pit road this time by. Looks like Jeff going Rusty Wallace is going to stay out again in their lap before I do. Oh, boy. I'm going to lose all that ground in the pits. Watch. I did get by them, but I'll take the full gallon now. But I might have to pit again, guys. We'll, we'll just have to see. But it's going to be very close. All right, let's hit the pit road wall. All right, let's not have a 21-second pit stop this time, guys. Let's actually have a good pit stop. Oh, yep. Wait. Oh, okay. Wait, what? Why are we... What the... Why were they slow on that side? Oh, my God. Go, go. Okay, that time, 18 seconds. Definitely way better. But I was... It could have probably been a little bit more better, but they were on the... Uh, right sides forever for whatever reason. But we're out in the way, and Dale Senior's just out ahead of me. And Dale Senior, I believe, was the race leader. Um, when uh, pit stop started, so we'll see. Oh man, should I really take the gamble? And uh, if I do have to pit again, do I take the gamble and just take fuel only? We'll have to see. Oh man, wait, did. Has Dale Senior pitted yet? Oh, no, he hasn't. No wonder I gained up on him so fast. Holy crap. I thought he already pitted. I'm right there with them. Six laps to go. Here we go. I'm going to gain some more spots. Going to be back in the top ten. Just got around Mark Martin there. All right. Up to eighth. We'll see where I'll be after all the pit stops have cycled through. But we're going to come to five laps to go this time by. I tell you what, guys, this car has no speed at all. It handles fine, but it has no speed at all. But who knows? I could still maybe savage a good result. Oh, God. Oh, very tight. I think I messed up that corner. All right, here we go. Cycling through the pit stops. Fifth, fourth. Holy crap. Oh, I'm going to get ahead of Dale Sr. All right. I might be able to make it on fast. I'm going to try to stretch it, but I don't know, guys. Five laps to go. I'm in third. No way I'm going to get to the leaders. Oh, actually, some drivers have still not pitted yet. Oh, man. Oh, man. Look at this hungry pack behind me, though, that's catching me. They are definitely faster than me. I just got no speed in this car at all. But we're coming to four laps to go this time by. There, here they come. Oh man, are they flying behind me? Oh, they're gonna actually split me, maybe. Dale Senior on the bottom, Mark Martin on the pie. Oh, I'm going up. Oh, I'm overdriving the corner. Oh, I was in second for a little bit. I just got no speed. That sucks. But see, watch. If I stay with these guys, I can look. I got his draft. I can stick with them. But I just got no speed. That's what sucks. I could have a car to win, but I just got nothing on speed. Three laps to go this time by. Back to fifth place. Trying to make a move on Dale Jarrett for the fourth spot. The only reason why I'm keeping up with him is because I'm in this trap. But we're coming to the white flag here at California Speedway. Final lap. Let's see if I can actually make a move on Dale Jarrett here. Here we go underneath him for fourth. And Dale Sr. is about to catch the leader and pass him for Lee. I believe that's either Matt Kenser or Ken Schrader. And I think I actually got around Dale Jarrett. He was trying to squeeze to my outside lane, but I put the block on him. And I think Dale Sr. is about to win this race. He just got around either that's Matt Kenser or Ken Schrader. But here we come through three and four. Dale Earnhardt is going to win here at California Speedway. And I'll tell you what, with a car with no speed, I'm going to come on with a fourth place finish. Not bad. I'm, I'm not going to lie, guys. That was a tough race regardless, even though it was a fourth place finish. My car literally absolutely had no speed at all. Literally, the only reason why I was able to keep up is if I got behind somebody and got their draft. Yeah, my Skinner definitely came up in the me. For sure. But. I. Guys, 
That race was bad. It was horrible. <laughs> I mean, the car handled great when I made the adjustments, but again, the car had no speed at all. And like I said, the only reason why I was able to keep up was being behind somebody in their draft. If I wasn't, I was in trouble. Uh, I guess, yeah, it was Ken Schrader. That, so, Dale Hart wins at uh, California Speedway. Only one caution, 12 lead changes. Uh, 146 miles per hour was the average race speed, and Dale Sr. won by 8 tenths of a second. Uh, and uh, Dale Hart led, led the most laps. Next race, guys, is going to be a short track race at Richmond International Raceway. Night racing over there as well. So, I will see you guys for race number 8 and at Richmond.